the online retailer called Nightcat have sent me a tent to test out. Now I'm not going to call this a review as such because it's the first time I've actually used a tent uh, outdoors and I think I would call this more of a, a first impression video. It's a three to four person tent. I would class it as a budget tent. It is under £100 at the moment. Have a look in the description box below for all the information of where you can purchase a tent and check out the current price as well. So yes, big thank you to Nightcat for sending this over to me. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll have a little look at it. At the moment, I'm just walking around the forest, trying to find somewhere suitable to do the video. But there's quite a lot of runners and dog walkers and cyclists around at the moment. So I need to find a little spot out of the way where I won't be interrupted. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a minute. This looks like a good place to pitch up, plenty of space and at the moment there's nowhere widow makers or low hanging branches in this spot. Yeah, let's uh, show you around the new nightcap tent. First of all, I've cleared the ground of any sort of stones or twigs or branches because I want to make sure that I don't cause any unnecessary damage to the tent. I've cleared a nice big space. So here we go. Here is the tent that I'm going to have a look at today. Let's take a closer look at what's inside. The tent weighs 4.3 kilos or 9.5 pounds. And in metric, it is 270 by 222 by 145 centimeters. It has a capacity for four adults. The material and the fabric are nylon. The actual poles themselves are made from fiberglass. The manufacturer states the tent is fully waterproof with a removable rain fly. The fabric is 190T polyester plus PU2000. Step one, spread the inner tent out on a flat surface. I think I can manage that. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do next. Step two, insert the poles into the diagonal holes of the inner tent corners and tie the top of the inner tent on the poles cross point. So I'll just go through the first two steps now and then I'll come back to you. inserted the metal bar at the bottom onto the pole and it's clipped firmly here it's a lot bigger than what I thought and then I've just tied a little loop in there for now to secure the top of the inner I'll show you this now we've got a little pocket here so if you're on the campsite and you need to uh, charge anything up and you've got a charging point external that's a lovely little feature there I haven't put any guy lines in or pegs yet, so bear with me. I'm getting to that at the moment. But I'm just showing you what it looks like at the minute. Oh yeah, we've got another little, uh, little uh, hole there. Good, excellent. And the tent does come with two doors. Cool. If it was a lovely hot summer's day and there was no chance of rain, you might get away without putting the rain fly on just to allow that extra ventilation and uh, maybe a bit of stargazing through the mesh. So the next bit I need to do is spread the rain fly and insert the two poles into the orange point parallel. 
So this is where I am at the minute. So far, so good. The instructions are very clear and haven't got stuck yet. So that's always promising. Put the rain fly on the inner tent, connect the four rings on the corners with the hooks and tie the rain fly with the inner tent. tricky bit is is trying to get all the corners where they need to be to hook them on to the metal bits that I showed you earlier without the whole thing falling off again probably a two-person job having fun and games in the woods today aren't we so now we're on the step six fix the poles tie and adjust the ropes so i'll put the um i'll put the tent pegs in but i probably won't do the guys it's not not windy at the moment um and i'm sure you all know what guidelines do so these are the tent pegs that i've got they're very very basic ones um i probably wouldn't want to put too much force on them in case they bend but there's nine of them and that should be enough to, to pin down everything that I need to be pinned down Nightcat tent is fully assembled. I haven't put the guy lines on because it's not particularly windy, but there we go. We've got the inner and outer up. It's all pegged down. It has two doors either side, which I really like. And I love the color of it, this dark olive green color. Um, it blends in very well with the woodland and it doesn't stand out like a beacon. So I'll give you a little look around the outside of the tent and then I'll show you on the inside. <music> even if you were six foot something there's absolutely loads in fact actually I can't even touch the top of it I can't touch where the poles are so yeah that's quite generous and we've also got these little pockets on either side to put your keys in or your mobile phone or whatever you want your head torch and there's also one on the other side as well and they're not on the floor so you don't have to worry about rolling into them overnight and we've got two doors as I mentioned yeah that's pretty cool isn't it yeah definitely a really good um tent for campsites in the summer weather uh, maybe even if you're booked into a festival um this would be a good 
budget tent to get yourself going with if you're sharing with a couple of friends or family members um, yeah why not sounds good doesn't it hey I just love this great big big vestibule door I love being able to look out and, and look at all the beautiful colors and sounds and smells coming in through from nature oh it's wonderful <laughs> right what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up both vestibules <music> the camera very well but I've took down the outer door and there's an inner mesh here I don't think <laughs> I don't think my camera's picking that up but if there's loads of bugs and mosquitoes about you really will appreciate that especially if you're camping near water or in the heat of the summer months but yeah that's a really nice little feature there just to keep the insects out and that's on both both of the doors as well the inside zip is uh, gives you the mesh Let's close that down and the outside zip which is very smooth is your outdoor one easy peasy lemon squeezy just to clarify both doors on either side of the tent are double layered so you've got that great inner mesh to keep the bugs out but it won't block your view or you can take both of the doors down and they tie neatly together the only thing that I find a little bit frustrating with this tent is that there isn't anywhere to tuck away the doors when you're not using them. They could be a potential slip trip hazard as you're getting in and out of the tent. So maybe something like a peg or a small clip might help just to make sure they're not in the way. That's my first impression of the Night Cat three to four person family size tent. And I really quite like it. Yes, it was a little bit of a faff trying to get the rain fly on, but to be fair, it was my first time and I think I've, I've got it down to almost uh, perfect, almost. But I like it. So this is a tent I'm going to use on my campsite trips. Uh, not really a wild camping tent. It's far too big and bulky, but for campsites where your vehicle's nearby, not a problem whatsoever. I just love the space and I really like the color and it is fairly simple to put up. If you want more information, have a look in the description box below. I will leave a link to Nightcat so you can check out all their products. And yeah, I'll leave it there. I'm gonna pack away now. I'll do this in super quick time because you've already seen me put it up and it's just doing exactly the same, but in reverse. Also, if you've liked the video, please leave some comments below. Give it a big like and a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Um, I would really appreciate your support. Thank you everyone. And I'll catch up with you on another vlog very soon. Bye-bye. go back in its pack. Oh, that was a good workout in itself. Right, I'm off now. See you soon guys. Rock up and ramble.